In this video, I will show you how to install the boilerplate in readiness for your project. We'll start with the Git repository at github.com forward slash wapla forward slash pwa dash boilerplate. Here we will copy the address to the clipboard. The readme file in the repository mentions installing the boilerplate using the Docker engine. I will explain why this is so, although it is perfectly okay to use your normal server. Back in Wepler, create a new project. The project name and folder can be adjusted to your particular situation. In this case, I have called it my project. For the Git repository, we paste the address from the clipboard. There will be some background activity while the files are being downloaded into your project. What is left is to enter the details in project settings. For the server model, choose the one that suits you. I have chosen PHP. Turn the routing on. Add the frameworks, making sure to choose Bootstrap Local. For the target, we choose the local host which in my case is the WAMP server. Change the target to local server and that should be it for the installation. Checking the site in the browser we say that it is not working as it should. Ok, let's change tack and install the docker engine to see what happens. Change the target to Docker and check our project in the browser. The project shows, page titles show, and it looks like we're up and running. How come? To answer that, we need to go into code view and look at the base link that is created by the routing. This reflects the root directory, which in Docker and in the remote server is different to the local host. Change the target back to local host and save the file. Notice that the base link has been changed to suit our local host. Our site now does show in the browser, unlike when we first started. But here we run into a problem that the page titles do not show. Another problem with the wrong link is when we upload the file to the remote. You will come across this problem whenever you use the routing system. Here you are faced with a choice. A. Develop the site in Docker 
or directly with the remote, or develop on the local server with the knowledge that certain parts will not work and that the file needs to be resaved once it has been uploaded to the remote. I have chosen to go for B. The rest of this tu tutorial will be based on that choice. In the next video, I will explain the single page app that we have utilized for this boilerplate. Thank you for watching.